Adpocalypse years ago. Oh yeah, so there were two Adpocalypse, I think. Funnily enough, I don't think it was actually started by... It was started by a multitude of things. It wasn't just one person. One of the Adpocalypse was because of the kid debacle stuff. That was based on the comment section to some extent. It was also based on kids' channels, to be fair. Like the whole... What was it? Elsa? Elsa Gate? First off, I did not know the Elsa Gate was about like that. I knew the Elsa freaking things, but I didn't know it had a term. But basically, during the Adpocalypse, there was a whole kids channel debacle, which is why they're a lot more strict now. So what happened was the comment section was disgusting. So they started having bots for the comment section to sense like, is the feel of this kind of creepy or is it just like, mm, it's okay, you know? So that's why kids channels tend to have comments off. If you guys remember that. Also, kids channels get a lot of views. And that the reasoning for that is what people think is because kids just let it autoplay. Or like the adults let it autoplay. They don't really pay attention to this stuff. They really ought to though. <laughs> really ought to. The thing here though is that there's also bots for specific videos. If your video is way too safe or it seems like it would be for a kid, which is like something that might happen to VTubers actually. Because we're, we're like, we're just like this by default, you know? Our bodies just happen to be beautiful. So, sometimes they will look at a video and if there's like, if it's way too safe, if it seems like the colors are appealing, there's a certain style to it, they would immediately mark that as this is a kid video. Regardless of what you say, it is immediately a kid video and I don't think you can even say anything against it. And that can actually screw up the monetization of that particular video. I think that was the second debacle. The first one might have been related... I won't, I won't say the name, just to be like polite. Even though it's kind of obvious. It was related to a forest, but it was also related to uh, someone with pie. Two of those reasons. But it wasn't just that, I'm pretty sure. It wasn't just that. I think it was a multitude of reasons. But basically, advertisers started pulling out. They feared like, oh, we should not advertise here, right? There was a multitude of reasons for the adpocalypse. By the way, I do want to visit that forest. Bye-bye! <laughs>